Okay, so this is the quit low project in order to keep practicing uh, certain uh, practices within Python. We've got uh, CSV files, if statements, functions, um, and getting user input and doing some checks. So it's it's not overly complicated at all, but it's uh, just a nice little project to keep uh, practicing different aspects of programming. So um, just a quick word of warning. Obviously, this is not how you implement any kind of login system you would never do it this way obviously we're dealing with a um and i'll quickly show you here um, a text file that has a username and a password stored in plain text you just you would never do that so it's uh kind of teaching us some principles and basics and the idea of it all but um this is not how you would ever do it in real life so Let's get straight into it. Because we're dealing with uh, CSV files, we can go ahead and import the CSV module. And then we can start to set up our main function. Now, I'm going to be using functions in this in this tutorial. Um, it just helps us to organize it and keep things separate um, and uh, understand it more clearly um, if we ever to try and uh, resolve any issues or fix any errors. So, And it's just good practice anyway to use functions as opposed to just having... Um, lines and lines of code running so first thing we're going to do set up our main um takes no arguments so we just open close the brackets there and we need to open our text file so with open users dot tx txt uh we're simply going to open it in the read mode we don't want to append or start editing any of the data open as file so with it open we're then going to copy the contents into an object called file reader, which is equal to the csv.reader uh, function. And we're reading the file that we just opened. Pretty straightforward. We've done CSVs before. Um, and what I'm going to do is just hit onto the next line because we're going to insert some uh, a line of code here in a few minutes. Um, and it's always good practice to close the file after we've opened it, used it, and no longer need it. So that's our first main function. Again, we're going to add this uh, file, this line of code in here just in a bit later when we've uh, established our second function. So again, we're going to create another function. This one I'm going to call user find because in this function we're going to be finding the user in the in the list um, that we've got the text file. So <clears throat> this one does take an argument. We're going to pass in the file up here. So um, I'm going to just require that when you call this function you pass in the file to use so we can use it inside our, our function here next thing we want to do is get the user to enter their username so uh, user equals input enter your username that's straightforward done this before now that it's entered we want to start to look in the um, file that we passed in I'm going to start to look inside it to find this username see where it's stored so for each row in the file if row uh, index 0 if that's equal to the user that they type in um, if they match then obviously we can go ahead and do what we would hope to do and just <coughs> um, we can just print uh, username found and then we could simply we could print the user if we wanted to do just to ensure that um, for any kind of debugging purposes or just to check that it is working as it's meant to be we could print the user so I'll just go ahead and print uh, in fact I'll combine it with that print statement there user found and just print user and um, this is what we need to do now um, create a list store that row that we've just found the user on store that row in a list object and well you'll see why later on but I'm gonna create a new one called uh, call it user not user check let's call it a user list or user found actually it's more um, descriptive so user found that's equal to and to create a list use your square brackets first part of the list we're gonna enter the uh, first index from the row and then the second um, thing we're going to put in is the second index on the row so you should just have row index 0 and row index 1 
Um, for those of you who are a little bit confused, let's go back to this. Uh, in this this one here before the first comma, user one that's in index zero, and the password is in index one. Um, so that's why we assign it zero and one. Um, if we really wanted to, we could print the user, but again, I've already done it up here. Sorry, print user found to make sure it works, but I know this works, so it's fine. Um, and then I'm gonna, just going to leave a line here because we're going to do the same as we did before. We're going to call another function. So I'm going to put it there when we've made it. And I'm going to put a break. Um, just going to throw an else in here, print not found, which... Uh, when we run through, if we were to type in a username, so bring things back up, let's say we add user 3, pass 3, um, if we add 100 of these and we were looking for, say, user 56, it would print out not found uh, 55 times, which um, is unnecessary and we don't need it, but in, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just putting that in just so we can uh, make sure that if it didn't find it, it how many times it stepped through this, uh, this for loop or the if if the if statement so that's that done we can move on to the third and final function now so this is going to be our password check-in function uh, and we are passing in the user file so let's go user found we're going to pass that in um, again we need to get the user to put in some information enter your password okay so we've Ask them to put in the username. We've looked for the username. We're now asking them to put in the password, and we're going to look up the password. So, another if statement: if user. So uh, we're taking this here. If user found, and the second index of it, so index one. If that value uh, is equal to user, what they just typed in, then then we can just simply print. Uh, password pass oh my goodness my spelling password match else print we'll get there in the end print uh, password not match I know it's not a great English but um, it doesn't really matter it's just for us to see um, how it works and we get a, a different response in our shell depending on the situation so as I said before we need to call upon two functions that we've already created so the first function we're going to call upon is the user find one so user underscore find and like I said we need to pass in uh, our file reader so file underscore reader we're passing in that file it gets passed through and we do x y and z with it um, now we need to, once we're inside this function, we need to call the pass check. So pass underscore check. So this can only be, this function can only run or be called upon if the username is found. So we've got print username found. We assign the row to a new uh, list. And we're going to pass that list into the uh, pass check function down here. So um, this is pretty much done. Um, like I said, it is basic, it's rudimentary, you don't need to uh, ever implement this kind of password system, uh, ever. Give it a run, let's see how it goes, let's go for user1. So, username found, user1, password, pass1, uh, password match. Like I said before, if we were to type in user3, it'll go not found, not found, username found, user3. So it's run through, it's stepped through each time, we know the if statement's working, we know the for loop's working. Enter your password. This is pass three. Password match. Let's give it one more run. Let's go user two. Okay, not found. Perfect. Fine. Cuts off after it's found the user. And I'm going to get the password wrong. Password not match. So thanks for watching, and um, I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. And I'll see you in the next one.